Hello and welcome to this case from First Opinion Veterinary Ultrasound. I'm Dr. Camilla Edwards. This was a seven-year-old female neutered Cavalier King Charles Spaniel with a history of uh, pre-general anaesthetic bloods revealing elevated creatinine, urea, SDMA and also an anemia was present. So let's have a look at some ultrasound images of our findings. So here we have one of her kidneys. So we can see it's it's not appearing like a normal kidney. It's quite small for a dog of this size. Um, there's no real obvious cortex or, or medulla. Um, there's this darker hypoechoic area and a more hyperechoic area uh, and surrounded by this uh, tissue, um, but not very clear um, cortex or medulla or peripelvic region like we would normally expect. Here we're fanning through the region of the kidney and we can really appreciate how tiny this kidney is and how we've got the uh, sort of per pelvic area, uh, this hypoechoic area, but no real cortex or medulla in this transverse section either. Now looking at um, the other kidney in longitudinal, we can see again uh, looking abnormal, no real normal kidney structure um, to be seen there. And again, looking in longitudinal and, and transverse through this uh, now right kidney. You can see that in the centre of our image there. So it's always good to um, attempt to assess the vascularity of organs when we're unsure what's going on. And there was vascularity within this organ. Here we're using um, tissue Doppler, um, which is uh, a a uh, form of Doppler which doesn't give directional flow um, and it can be more sensitive to those small vessels we might see in the kidney. Um, unfortunately, it often picks up on, on movement as well, but we can certainly see there's some vascularity within this kidney here. So in this case, we had bilateral kidney pathology and um, from appearance, bilateral congenital renal dysplasia appeared most likely. This can be genetic or can occur with neonatal herpes virus infection. And this condition has been seen in Cavalier King Charles Spaniels before. The differential diagnosis might include a bilateral renal neoplasia, but unfortunately, bilateral kidney disease like this must carry a guarded prognosis. So there won't be a surgical cure and medical treatment will only slow any deterioration. We should aim to support the kidneys and possibly repeat ultrasound examination and bloods to see if there's any deterioration observable there. But given that the dog is seven years old, if it is congenital or from a neonatal herpes virus infection, it may be that she will still continue to deteriorate slowly.